Where's my phone? Hey guys! Let me get the chat on my phone real quick. Turn that volume down. Welcome to the channel. I haven't seen everyone in a while. Let me get in the center here. Let's see. Oh, I got a commercial. Let's see who we have here. Steph's Beauty. Hey, Stephanie, how are you doing? Joe Withrow. She loves her diamond bomb. I know exactly what you're talking about. I actually bought one of those and I gave it to my daughter. I'm going to have to ask Maddie if she likes it. Hey, Allie's son. We got Lori. We got Joe. Lori Nielsen. Hey, from Oregon. I bet it's cold up there. We got Leah Stratton. Hi. Hi, Leah. We got Bobby Loves Beauty. Sincerely, Kristen. We got Kristen. Uh, no, Chrysalyn. Chrysalyn Marie. I love your name, Chrysalyn. It's very similar to mine. I was telling her in a, a message uh, earlier. My name is actually. Actually, Kendallin, K E N D A L N, and her name's, I don't want to say it wrong, it's Chrysalin, I think, is how she pronounces hers. Chrysalin. Yeah. Emmy L is here. Hey, Susie Q, I need to email you. Uh, I'm going to get Susie Q to be a speaker on the channel uh, probably in a, a week or so. I need to get my setup straight from uh, StreamYard. I, I have uh, just the free program, so I think I need to buy one of the, the next one up to be able to do that. And as soon as I can figure that out, we got Sherry Hor 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 Horick. Happy Friday to you also. We got Tracy Woods, Erica Mullins. Tracy, we still have your prize. We were just looking at that. That's why I was a little bit late. Uh, Quentin still has like five to send out. One of, what was the name, Quentin? Deborah? Yeah, Deborah K. Day. Does anybody know Deborah K? Thank you, Staff's Beauty. Thanks for everything you do. Love you all. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that more than you know. Uh, but if y'all see her in the chat, please let me know. I don't know why somebody wouldn't send me their address. They have like three days or whatever. That was from the Christmas giveaway too. So it's been a while. Let's see. We have Starlin Luna. Rita Tripp. Candy Bosco. Hi, Candy. We have Sylvia Jackson. Hey, Sylvia. Sylvia is going to be the first traveling box person. And I will tell you all who the second one is. I'm going to look in a second. Jen is still confused about discard and how to enter the drawings. Uh, Jen, for the... If you're talking about the, the the giveaway for January, we have until midnight, so I'm not going to do it today. The one for everybody each month that I have, um, you have to enter by reading those rules. Uh, you have to be public. I have to be able to check and make sure you subscribed. Um some of the other things, uh, your, your comment is your entry under the video. So make sure to enter in if I have a mini giveaway question, but I think what you're asking about is the elite bendy babes, how I do those the night we get together and 
pick the names. I already have everybody in the box. The names that are at the end of the videos in January, that's who's going to be in the box. So your name should be listed on there if you're an elite uh, Bendy Babe. So uh, did you notice if your name was on there? I'm so far behind. I, don't, I lost her. Oh, Allie. No, that wasn't Allison. That was uh, Jen James. Jennifer James. Yes, I think you are on that. I, I, I really I was going to do the giveaways on discard, but I haven't had a chance to even fool with that. So we're just going to do it on on the like we regular do on uh, um, during the live like we do. I'm not going to do it separate right now. We'll just do it that way to make it simpler. We need to set a time so we can start talking on Discord and chatting on there. Hi, Carmen. Becca's Beauty's here. Marlena Irwin. Hey, Marlena. I've seen Allie's son. We got Melia D. from Calgary, Canada. Hi. Casey's here. Hey, Casey. Hey, Rhonda, how you doing? Rhonda said, oh, I keep clicking that. Hi, Vicki Shrugs. Welcome to the channel. On the Discord, Becca, I'm going to check. Hey, Texas Two Step. Two step. Hey, QJM, how you doing? <laughs> He's probably sleeping over there. I'm here. Yes, I'm feeling, oh, Rhonda was down too. Everybody seems to be under the weather, weather lately. Let's see, I am not on live chat, so I might not be seeing everybody. Okay, now here we go. <laughs> um, oh, you hit your thousand. Congratulations, Becca. Congratulations. Did uh how close are you to your four thousand hours? Are you pretty cool? You're going to have to do some lives if you're not that close yet. Let's see. Hi, Haley. Welcome to the channel. Please welcome the new people in the chat, ladies. Um, did y'all see if Cindy was here? I think she's, I haven't had a chance to really talk to her. I got sick last week. Um, last Wednesday, I did a lot of filming. I did like three or four videos. And, you know, I don't see well. And I really, really should check myself before I start filming. And I was hurrying. The last video, I noticed my false lash was messed up. And... When I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh, my God. My husband started laugh, of course. And um, I laughed, too. I thought it was funny. But then I went and checked the very first video. That, and I really thought I had done better than the second time I, I did them. Anyways, I didn't keep those. I just, like, uh, uh, that Wednesday, I'm thinking. Thursday, I was just so stressed out. I felt... Um, just burnt out. So I didn't, you know, I just took the day off. And Friday I tried to film and I was just so down. Um, my face, I used some exfoliator on my face. Then I forgot I had done that. And in the shower, I used some of that. I think it's by 
glow recipe. It makes your skin bright. You put it on when your skin's dry and leave it for a minute. And I used that and I did something else I wasn't supposed to. And my skin dried out. It was so bad. It looked horrible. It still kind of looks bad. Um, so I was just so depressed. I couldn't film. I was just in bed all weekend, just being a cry baby. Now I sound stupid, but at the time I just was really down. And I didn't, I haven't told anybody this, but um, for the last three months, I've noticed I've been having trouble um, swallowing. Um, like sometimes when I'd be eating, I'd swallow and it's like my food would be like not going down. I started like getting heartburn a lot, but if I drink a lot of water, it stops. And I've been really worried about that and I don't want to get a scope. I know that's what they're going to want to do. So that's been playing on my mind and I, I'm not going to the doctor till February because I have good insurance with my husband, but um, uh, after your two years on disability, they put you on Medicare. So I'm going to actually have a Medicare card starting February 1st, tomorrow. Well, I have the card, but it, it's active tomorrow. So I was going to wait till then anyways. Um, I don't even know if it, how that works anyways, but um, just... I'm worried about that because my boss had passed away. He had a growth um, in his esophagus and my father-in-law who had it first went I, uh, I don't remember right around uh, the same time, huh? My dad had first. Your dad had it first. Well, my dad died in 2013. Yeah. No, Clayton died in. Okay. Yeah. Well, Quentin's dad got it, and he was diabetic, and he struggled with it. He went through uh, chemotherapy and treatment at Oshner's in Texas, and he was doing good, but the di his diabetes went down one night, and I think he had, like, a diabetes stroke or, like, a coma, and it really messed him up. So he eventually passed away, but... Uh, and then my boss, Clayton, had the same thing. My father-in-law's was further up. And uh, my boss, Clayton, who uh, his was a little bit lower. They had to take, cut like his sauce and make him a new part from his stomach or something. But he was doing good. And one night he just died in the middle of the night, just stopped breathing. Um, they never could really say what happened. So that's been playing on my mind and I, you know, things are great with my channel and that's my fault. I haven't been putting up like I should, but I'm better now. Um, and, and I shouldn't be upset. There's so many people with so much more important things going on in their lives. I should be happy and I really should be because my kids are healthy. My husband's very healthy. Um, and I'm sure this is just going to be maybe something wrong with my flap or something. I did a scope before because I used to take some really uh, bad arthritis medicine back in the day before they had NSAIDs and they used to burn your stomach. Uh, what was that? Indocin. And I had started to develop an ulcer from the medication. So I had a, a, a scope way back when. So I just don't want to go through all that rigmarole. Just don't have the time and just don't want to do it. I'm not a good sick person either. You know, I'm not just going to go by what the doctor wants to do. I give trouble and um, I don't know. I'm just not ready for it. But yeah, and then I need to find a good, what a, I guess, a gastroenterologist. What do you call them? Gas gastro in something like that in my little town there's no good doctors i hate to say it there's not a good one in the bunch actually the one that did my gallbladder operation did a scope on somebody and he ended up almost dying because they punctured his 
esophagus. So I'm not going back to him. But yeah. But anyways, that's what's been going on with me. And I've been incognito <laughs> hiding. Um, and, you know, my hardest thing is doing these lives. I don't know why. It's just so hard to see what people are saying and talk, you know, but it's all good. Um, Gastroenterologist. Oh, Jamie is Jamie Jazz Jared Ozzy. Jamie is starting a new channel, and I think she just started it. It's through my eyes, beauty. So y'all support each other. Thank you so much, Marlena. I'm going to be fine, though, babe. And, you know, I take I take an anti-depression medication. I take Cymbalta. But I've been on that medicine. I know my daughter is, Maddie is turning 20 on the 5th. We, our, our baby is going to be 20 years old. Oh, my God, my heart. <laughs> I so miss my kids being toddlers. I started watching some videos of some babies trying to talk and just cute little videos. And oh my God, just thinking back to how cute my kids were when they were little. Oh my God. We used to have so much fun playing with them. Just, and, and you, you, when you have young kids, ladies, and you're going through those toddler stages, so enjoy it. It's such a blip. In, in your lifetime, I look back and I just miss that. And I can't wait to have grandkids. Y'all know that. But um, it's like such a short time, huh? Oh, Lord, girl. Yeah, I'm going to be 1,300. That's going to be, it's going to, the next eight years is going to be crazy. And when that baby turns 18, 20, goes off to school or starts working, it's going to be like, where did everybody go? You know, I mean, our, our son's living with us again, but he, um, what was I going to say? But he's like, he's not here because he does his own thing. You know, he's, he's here, but it's just different when they get older. Look at makeup with Jessica Horn. 17, 15, 12, 10, 9, 7. Ooh, Lord. And then a nine month old. And a nine month old. A surprise. So cute. Cindy's there. Cindy, Cindy made it. Cindy, how are you feeling, love? Hey, Barbara. Barbara, we still have your gift. Quentin promises me he's going to get those out next week. Oh. And I didn't want to say that because. <laughs> oh, no excuses. When is the Super Bowl? Sunday. Oh, this Sunday? Wow. I'm so not into it. I'm just not into it. I don't even know who's in it, really. Boston? Who's in it? The Super Bowl? No, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> I seen it was a red uniform. No, red, no, white, San, San Francisco, Kansas. Kansas City and San Francisco. I'm sure if I was from there, I'd be excited. But we didn't we didn't keep up with the um, the f NFL. I didn't, anyways. I'm sure we got a lot of 49er fans. Wow, I can't get over makeup with Jessica. 
17, 15, 12, no, 10, no. 9, 7, and 7, 7. It's two seven, though. No? Seven, seven. That's twins? Wow. Ten and nine. That's, that's, wow. I wouldn't know how to. Yeah, twins are seven, she said. Cindy said it's hard for her to type one handed. Oh, my God. Uh, sincerely, Kristen, did he have some of the same uh, symptoms that I was saying, your son? What does he go to therapy for? Hi, Anthony Ferguson. Who is that again? Jennifer? No. Let's see. My baby girl will be 20 in February 12th. Candy does. Sherry has 14, 17, 19. I know. It, I love my children. They didn't bother me when they were little. I loved them being little. We always had a swimming pool in the backyard. Our kids loved to play in pools, so we didn't have an in-ground pool. So every year we'd get the best Walmart pool we could find. And my husband wouldn't keep it up. So every year we'd have to buy a new pool. It's too easy just to throw uh, it up. Yeah, but they're hundreds of dollars. Yeah, it's wasted. But anyways, I remember one summer coming home, like for three months straight, me and Maddie swam in that pool together every day. Every day. She would she would have these little games she would play. Uh and she was she's like a fish. Both our children went to swimming lessons when they First could walk, you know, we put them in. Even Austin went to uh, swimming as an infant mommy and baby class. We had gone um, because I just didn't want them to not know how to swim because we around water a lot. And uh, I remember playing with Maddie and it was so we do the same things. We go around the pool. We make a whirlpool. Then we do this little move I call the washing machine. Um, then we throw things at the bottom, she get them, then I'd have to get, I mean, this the same little things every day. It was such a fun summer. And uh, I'll never forget that summer. But, yeah. Makeup with Jessica Vargas. I do makeup and I have a YouTube channel, which is another kind, I think she meant. Rita Tripp, she said her baby will be 34 on the 27th, I think is what she's saying. Wow. Hi, Candy. Mine are 25 and 26 years old, and I do not miss when they were babies. Oh, I miss it. Shoot. Poor Cindy, and I, I, I don't, I, I haven't talked to her to really see what type of stroke she had. I don't know much about strokes, to tell you the truth. I, I know it's when you get uh, like a blood leak in your brain, maybe. I'm not sure, but that's an aneurysm. Was well, something like that, I think. But I, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, she's going to have to go through therapy. Hey, Jeannie Hernandez, did I tell you that we still have your package? What? Hey, Sidoni. I promise. And that ain't never going to happen Oh, Barbara's having her next surgery next Tuesday and Wednesday. So it will be a nice treat to play with during recovery. Oh, poor babe. 
Let me know how it goes, Barbara. You've had so many surgeries, darling. Hi, Ashley. Casey's twins are 14. Becca's babies are 21 and 22. Jeannie Hernandez, she got in a car accident. Last Thursday. She did? Yeah. How is she? She just put up and she said. I don't think I knew that. She's recovering. Oh my God, Casey, Casey K's girls are 16, 14, 14. She has two twins. Well, she has twins, 12 and 11. Darn girl, they are close in age. And they're all girls. I don't know how you, you can afford that many girls. All the clothes and makeup and whoo. And candies are 26, 25, 23, 23, 22, and 14. They are close. Tracy said her boys went to swimming lessons. And, you know, Tracy, that's the thing. If you do have a pool, you, you have to send your children to swimming lessons. Um, it's so dangerous. Hi, Jess Trick. How are you doing? Hey, Felix, baby. I oh, know. I, Ashley, you say that. We used to do the same thing on Friday. We go to the video rental store. And we'd try to get all the new rentals that were out. That was so much fun. And we'd keep them the whole weekend. That's what we do every weekend is watch movies. Now, of course, that's changed. You don't even, you know, you just rent on your TV now. I don't know why they charge so much when you rent on a TV. It doesn't make sense. But, yeah, that was the days. Everybody would sit together and watch it. Now you can just rent one and you can all each watch in your room and there's no togetherness. I don't, I don't find any more. Does everybody know tonight is boxy charm payment night? Make sure y'all, you know, I did. I think I missed one of my premium boxes that way. Last time I, I have like, two accounts they're they're on two different emails same address but i forget because i have to go into each individually and change the card or the debit card in order you know to make sure it goes through if i need to pull with that i have like three on file so um I got a notification and I, I went in and changed it, but I, I, I don't remember if I did the right one maybe, or I didn't do both of them because I think I would have gotten two premiums. I hope I get it this month on that second premium. There are so many people that are still on the wait list. So, and everybody wants to get off of that wait list because they want that box in March. March is going to be amazing. Um, I can't wait. I uh, have a, a a post I'm gonna put up on Instagram. I must have I left those little lipsticks over there, those NARS lipstick. I actually have one of them on. Look on the corner of the table. Of, no, no, I'm sorry, Quentin. Look at right here. I finally tried. Ooh, it's blurry. 
But this is like a mini duo. The one we're getting in our boxy lux is a full size lipstick. But uh, these comparing my favorite li liquid lipstick brand was Dose of Colors. But I'm talking about matte lipstick because matte lipsticks are so hard on your lips. They're drying. But I find these work better than Dose of Colors. And the little, the little applicator is so precise. I opened this upside down one of them one time. Let me show you. And the names of these shades are all names of songs. American Woman. Uh, Y'all know that song. American Woman, stay away from. They got that one. Uh, one of these is called Cherry Bomb. Who sang Cherry Bomb? Ch -ch Cherry Bomb. Oh, and the girl. Oh. I know that girl. I want to say, um, well, the black headed girl was in it. That's still famous. Why is my mind blank? I know. <laughs> Cherry Bomb is the candied apple red one. You know, Joan Jett was in it, but I can't remember. Yeah, Joan Jett was in it. I don't remember. Google. No. Uh, somebody might have said it in the chat. Uh, Did somebody know? Uh, Joan Jett. Hey, Heather and Laurie. The Runaways. The Runaways. Yes. I can't think of the little girl's Matrini name. <laughs> Who knew it? Matrini. Um, yeah. I mean, all the names of the shades are song names. Uh, American Woman, uh, let's see what this one's called. This one is like, they say geranium color. It's kind of a more warm red, but this is the perfect red. This is not in the, they don't even have that one in the choices anymore. Um, Cherry Bomb. But let me see what the name of this other one is. I can see it. I know it's the name of a song. Uh, don't Stop. I guess Don't Stop Believing or. Journey? It just says Don't Stop. I don't know. But I know, look, you know, looking at all of them, it's kind of neat because they're all up. Uh, they had a, a James Brown song, just different ones. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait until we get that boxy Lux. And um, what else I wanted to show you guys? Yeah, this I had bought two minis, but the these are just half of the size of the larger ones. These are a different type. They're more of a cream type color. And these come in a little box like this with a uh, um, lip liner that goes with each one. These are okay, but I don't like them as much as I do the red ones. I hardly wear these. Let me show you what they look like. But when I wanted to try them, I, I said I'm, I didn't want to spend a lot of money just to see how they worked. You see, you get a little lip liner with each one. But that's how they look. More of a nude looking color. But that red is so pretty. And I got this in. I wanted to show y'all. Uh, what do you do with that, that curling iron I got in? I think there's one that's going to be in the pop-up. Where do you put this, Quentin? Did you see what? this thing? This is the free gift I got from Allure. I know. I don't know where oh, you behind put you. it. Can you grab it for me? Thank you. It's huge. What it does to my hair, it really straightens it out. It kind of gives it some lift. Uh, my hair has been... This is two-day old hair, so, um, but 
and it has like three speeds. I think the one they're selling on the pop up is the same brand. No, it's not. It's Amica. I can't remember. This is Hot Tools. But I'm sure they work very similar. This one has three settings, cool, medium, and hot. But it's just so big. Yeah, I got that. And the eyeshadow I'm wearing is Hot Buttered Rum from Christmas time. I never even tried this first time. And it's my eyes are watery, so I don't know. The um, Palm Springs makes my eyes cry. But look how cute these are. Boop, boop. It's kind of hard to see. And I have like the, I use the mustard in this beautiful bronzy, I don't know, like brown color in the deep brown. I love that. I love just everyday neutrals. But I love colors too. So, did y'all see the Boxy Charm branded uh, eyeshadow that the the favorite PR people got? I never get those type of things. I don't sell enough boxes, I guess. But everybody, um, I think all the ones on Instagram that uh, have Boxy Charm in their name. Uh, they all had their names on it. It's really cute, but I find the colors in the palette. We've seen those before. It's um, it reminds me so much of the Allure palette we got last year. The color story. It also reminds me of the Violet Voss. It's that same orange, yellow, turquoise. Warm shaded palette. Oh, I, I don't know. Just I'm just looking for something different out there. Other than the same thing over and over. But I'd love to have it for my collection. You know, it's the first BoxyCharm made palette. I don't even, I'm still an affiliate. But each month I have to call about my box. I'm just not doing it anymore. If they want to send my box. They asked me the last two months to do a review, and but it's, it's, it's been a struggle since I got on that PR list for, for some reason. And I know I don't sell as much because, you know, when people go on uh, and buy things and you see a name, BoxyCharm, you're going to pick that to buy yours over before just some random person. And my channel is just not that big. Most of the people on my channel already have BoxyCharm. So I don't know. Um, but I've seen Yari G got it. I'm sure Suzanne got it. Um, Sarah with BoxyCharm News got it. So I, I don't know if we're going to get that. I, I would think eventually it will come up either in a box or maybe in a uh, of a boxy pop up or something or add on. They did it for a reason. I don't think it just was done to get a reaction. So I don't know. Did y'all hear anything different? I know. I, I don't. I, I felt the same way, Joe. You know, it's kind of like Ipsy when they started making their own palette. What lab are they using? What is it comparable to? How do you know? You know. The whole thing is, is to get a box that has good name brands. And I used to get um, this palette. I can't remember the name of it. It's the one each month they pick a different uh, influencer to uh, kind of like pick the colors for it. Uh, Scarlet. Um, what is the name of that palette? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I, I quit getting it because it really wasn't a good formula. I wanted to support the other YouTubers that were getting to do their own palette. But um, it was something scarlet, I want to say. But I can't remember. It's, 
It's made in Thailand. Deck of Scarlet, that's it. Thanks, Matrini. And really, to know if it's a, uh, I watched uh, um, Rich Lux uh, kind of do swatches. You can't really tell from swatches if really the mats looked really pigmented. So you really have to try it out and get somebody that's going to say the truth about it, you know, to know if it's really good or not. So. Heather, um, to get a second box for the, I'd do it right now. I'd do it right now before tomorrow. You'll know when you go to checkout if they give you the choice to put uh, Dr. Love or uh, get my palette. And if it doesn't come up, just don't get it. Dr. Love. Dr. Love. Yep. Hopefully we get to <laughs> That's exactly what I thought of when I heard the code. Mm -hmm. Kiss has a, a song called Dr. Love. My husband's favorite all-time childhood band is Kiss. We've gone to see them. I've seen them, what, twice or three times? I don't know, twice. I said I was never going to see them again. That was enough, but they're coming to Lafayette. So we might be going to Kiss again. No, 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 it's not my my children want to go, so I might go. Um, yeah. How many times have you seen them, Quentin? This would be seven. Seven times. That's crazy. And it's the same concert each time? No. Yeah. Same concert. Becca, you leaving, sweetie? Oh, no. The bee's leaving. Okay. Yeah, I seen Rich Lux was sponsored. That was good for him. And you know, I the only reason I really liked getting BoxyCharm PR was to get to get the box early and you know get it to y'all early, but they don't let you do that. Um they let certain people put it out early. Then they made a well, they made a rule. Yeah, you, you can only put it out on the seventh. Um, and when I I didn't even know the rule. And that month I put it out early, they punished me, you know. The next month I didn't get the box. And I didn't complain because what are you gonna say? They're giving you a free box. Um, but I didn't know the rules. They didn't tell me anything about a certain date. And I had put it up early before. And the lady, somebody told me this, but people always tell me stuff. And it is just a long story. But anyways, um, the only reason to get it PR is to put it up early. Other than that, if I'm going to get the boxes I pay for before that, you know, I don't get my views on that. I get them on sneak peeks anyway, so I'm just not going to worry about it no more. Steph said you and her hubby would be best friends. That's his favorite also, Quinn. Bye, Jessica. Well, if y'all go see them uh, on what date? March the what? 14th. March 14th at the Cajun Dome in Lafayette, Louisiana. We'll be there. <laughs> you see the crazy old man jumping and screaming. Yeah, Champagne Taste. Yes, they do show their – they have cut out a lot of the sneak peeks for everybody because they – unbox things on their own now. Um, so it's kind of hard to compete, you know. Uh, a lot of the other channels get a lot more than I had ever gotten. From them. Like Boxy Pop-Up, a lot of them get stuff for that. I never get any of that, I, you know. 
I'm kind of like the um, the lower class PR person, you know. <laughs> I feel like the bum, but oh, I love Boxy Charm. I'll never dislike them because I think it's a it's good for for twenty five dollars, thirty five dollars. You're not going to get those products that cheap, you know. Other than just you, you can get them, you just got to buy them. So I still, even though you know, little things happen. I still think it's a good box. Some things I don't like every now and then, but nothing's perfect. And they do have the best brands. They they get the best hourglass and now uh, uh, NARS, you know, they have the best brands. Glow Recipe, I love them. All their skincare brands. And uh, don't forget, uh, start saving y'all money because so has their add-ons. I think tomorrow, tomorrow I got an email. I was going to send a, a, a um, if you're not on my mail notification, I have two different ones. Um, one is for my Patreons and the other, if you want to be on my email notification, it's, it's stuff that's on my channel, but I do remind you about um, choice. Uh, I watch that day to see when it goes up. It usually always goes up around, um, I'll say 12 to three Eastern time, sometimes 11 to three, I'd say in that range because of Pacific time people, it wouldn't be fair to make it real early in the morning because they're just not, you know, up that early. Nobody is. So um, it's always around that time, but I kind of watch out. And I'll let y'all know the minute it goes up. Uh, anytime I have a new video or somebody's sick in our group or um, I'll, I'll send an email. Do y'all think I send too many emails? Anytime if you don't want to get them anymore or you think it's just too much emails, just tell me, you know, I'd like to be taken off the list and I can always take you off. But if you want to be added to the list, you have to email me. Don't tell me in a chat or a, um, um, or in a comment because it's just so easy for me. If you email me, I can just put in my contacts and put you in the group. It just makes it a lot easier than having to copy your, your uh, then you have my email also. So we can talk and chat. So um, if you want to get on that, just email me because like tomorrow also FabFitFun has their choice and their add-ons. The first and second, um, I can look real quick. If anybody's interested in knowing that. Let's see, I had an email. Let me see exactly when it is. Now, to get early access for FabFitFun, you have to, like, get a year subscription, I think it is. Let's see. FabFitFun. Let me just type that in. It's like there's so many things to buy, but I'm not buying any Fabfit Fun. I want to save my money for, um, yeah, add ons right here for Boxy Pop Up add ons. Come on, add ons almost here. Let me see what date it is. I'm pretty sure it's the second. Okay, on the first, you have. Live. What does that mean? We're kicking off add ons with our top 10 picks plus more at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. I'm sure that's Pacific time also. So tomorrow. And then on the second is customization. 
uh, opens, and that is for And it's at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that would be 1, 12, 11 Eastern Time. Is that right, Quentin? Um, where, where, where? Uh, uh, 2 Pacific Time. I mean, 9 Pacific Time. At 9? No, a.m. 9 a.m. Two hours earlier. I mean, later, later, later. later. 11. Uh, yeah, so it, Eastern time, it would be 10. If it's 11 here, it's 12 there. 12. Yeah. Okay, so, and then I'll, I'll send an email out to everybody. I'll copy this. Yeah, and then on the 4th, it's probably, Ultimate Head Products. I don't know. It's a bunch of stupid things. <laughs> Spring add-ons. And it opens, but select access to spring add-ons. Let's see. That's on the 5th. So I'm not sure. I have to read that better. I can't read their writing. Select members. Okay. Select members start on the 2nd. And then it goes through the 5th. Oh, it closes on the 5th. So then they probably open it up to all members on the 5th. No customization closes. All members spring add-ons sale opens on the 14th. Wow. You see, that's all around the BoxyCharm stuff. Because BoxyCharm starts, uh, choice is the 10th and the 11th, it starts. We have the base box, the early access. And to do early access, uh, you have to be a Lux or premium box subscriber or on the wait list. And that is on February 10th. That's a Monday. Then all charmers are, are let's see, all access for the base box is on February 11th, my husband's birthday. Then choice for early uh for Lux Box, the Boxy Lux Choice is Monday, February 17th. And I forgot what they said about that one. Let's see if it's all it's so confusing. All that they they didn't say premium yet when that one was gonna be. Okay, can, oh yeah, right here. Let's see. It just says all um, here access for our boxy lux subscribers and waitlisters opens March uh, February seventeenth. Uh, so even if you're on the waitlist, like if you're not a boxy lux subscriber and you get on the waitlist now, you won't be charged until March first. And uh, you'll you'll get early access. I would get that box if it gets if you're not on the list. Uh, that's going to be a good Lux box. Uh, I will be doing a, a video of all that. I have part of the Lux box. Um, we had the choice items so far, but I, I'll do a video soon. Um, then boxy pop up. Early access is Monday, February 10th, and then all access is on the 11th. And they have some great things in their pop-up stuff. And, you know, it all looks good, but when the prices come out, that's when you really see how nice this is. And I think, um, when is Easter this year? Easter is in March, Quentin, or in, at the end of February? Does anybody know when Easter is? It's going to be in March. April 12th. So 
Yes. This will be the only boxy pop-up before Easter. So if you do give little Easter gifts, um, this will be a great place to do that. Uh, the next boxy pop-up won't be until, let's see, January, February, March, May. We'll have one in May because it's the second month usually of the quarter. So this is this is it. Yeah. What is staying the same? Wow, her birth, uh, her twin's birthday falls on Easter. Yeah, yeah. Actually, tomorrow I have a nephew's birthday. Sunday is our wedding anniversary. That's a big one too. We'll be married 10, 30 years. <laughs> we got married in 1990. Yeah, it'll be our 30 year wedding anniversary Sunday. And then um, Sunday and then the fifth is Madison's birthday. And I also have another nephew's birthday. They were born on the same day, different years. Uh, then Quentin's birthday is the 11th. My brother-in-law's birthday is the 21st. So we have a lot in February. Thank you, Rhonda. What foundation do you love, sweetheart? Uh, yeah, that's a long time. And we dated uh, a long time uh, before that. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the channel, DZ617. I don't think I, I've noticed you on the channel before. Thank you, Clarissa. How you doing, darling? Oh. Tracy's anniversary is on the 22nd. She's been married. They'll be married 27 years. Girl, you right on my tail. Oh, she loves the Kat Von D foundation. I have the Kat Von, Von D uh, concealer, and I like it. Now, I can't use it under my eyes, though. The only one I can use under my eyes is the NARS, uh, the CoverGirl True Match, and the, the new one we just got is okay. Oh, and the Morphe one's okay. And it, it just depends how much I care for my under eyes. Uh, when you get older, it's just so thin right here. And even on this eye, um, you know, when you put eyeshadow and it kind of skips, that's, I have to be careful right here. If I let it get too dry, it does that. Um, but my eyes are so difficult to work with. They're, uh, oh, I have the problem and all that, but um <laughs> He's probably, he's probably saying, yeah, I bet y'all is a hard to deal with. <laughs> um, but it's like they're hooded and I don't have much lid. Oh, I envy these girls with all the lid space, you know. Not that it would be easier. It just would look so much prettier with a big old lid. Um, but you get what you get, you know. Sylvia's baby sister. Oh, and I'm, I'm embarrassed about my birthday gifts I need to send to my Patreons. I need to do that. I need to stop giving excuses. I still don't even know if I have everybody's birthday, but I'm going to get on that. I need to take a day just to do that. K 
Cassie K. Bates, uh, see her hubby and her have 13 years. I know, I hate hooded eyes. And you know what's the worst with hooded, hooded eyes? Is trying to do a darn wing. It's like when if you don't have hooded eyes, but if you have hooded eyes, you know what I mean. You'll go and do a cute little wing, you know, while your eyes close. You open them and your wings like, <laughs> it doesn't even look right, you know, because it, it makes it like a uh, curve. So it's very difficult. It's not unattainable. You can do it, but it just, and it doesn't look exactly like um, a really nice unhooded eye wing looks like, you know. Did y'all get your, your mystery boxes today from Jeffree Star? Janie said, I've got draw under. Uh, thank you, Rhonda said. Thank you so much. Um, what was she saying about her under eyes? Oh, Jenny's, uh, Janie says, I have dry under eyes and got the makeup revolution hydration concealer, and I love it. Just a small amount goes a long way. I think I do have that one. I'm going to have to check. I haven't tried it in a while. I was on a concealer. I'm always looking for a good concealer. Steph got the Tati palette. Rhonda got the small box. I wanted to get it in, I don't know, candy show me a way to get it through Afterpay because they said that you couldn't use the Afterpay, but there's a way you can do it. And I thought about it and I just didn't do it because I knew tonight I was going to have to pay, um, what, 140 for two subscriptions for the premium and the base box. So I wanted to make sure I had enough for that and Ipsy because I still get Ipsy, and then I, I want to do the boxy pop-up, so I'm kind of waiting for that also. I think this time, though, with the Jeffree Star boxes, he was, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of anything mystery, because I feel like they're getting rid of the shades that didn't sell well. You know, that's kind of how they get rid of their merchandise. But Jeffrey was putting in some new colors and really was making them good because they had trouble last time. So that would have been a good time to get one, I think. Bobby couldn't get in to get one. Oh, Steph, I'm glad you got one, darling. Catrice under eye camouflage is amazing. I have never tried that, Heather. I have to get. I love the Catrice uh, hydration setting spray. That is really good. My, da my daughter and I both like that one. DJ's Landscape is here. How you doing, DJ? Thanks for stopping by. Janie says, always thank you for all you do, Kendi. I can't get on your Patreon, so here is my part for them all. Thank you so much, Janie. I appreciate that. That is just as good as being a Patreon. 
Sylvia is doing a low buy this year. I need to put the money towards my workout clothes and equipment. I got me too, Sylvia. I am, I decided and I'm really serious and I'm ready. I want to lose some weight. And I watched, uh, uh, Chris, uh, Rob beauty, Christy. I love her. And I watched her video. It's, it's a little old. I think it's not a, a current video for her losing her 40 pounds on keto and I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to do it. And um, I was either going to do uh, like a vegetarian fast for a month or try keto maybe. And I decided to do the keto. I don't think I'll have a hard time with that because I love vegetables. I eat anything. I love all kinds of vegetables and fruit. I don't know if you can have much fruit, but uh, and protein. So um my husband's going to have more time. He's a bread. He's a carb eater. He loves bread. Like, I mean, he eats potato salad sandwiches, like puts potato salad on two slices of bread. <laughs> it's just crazy to me. He uh, like if we have rice and gravy, um, that's a typical Cajun meal, rice and gravy. Um, he'll eat two slices of bread with it. You know, and I'm like, you've eaten all that rice plus the bread. Um, but he loves bread. So he, he's going to have a little hard time with that. But you can, uh, I think there's a, a tortilla shell you can eat, like a low low carb one we can have. But yes, if y'all want to try to do this with me, uh, we can, I'm going to start probably next week. I'm going shopping and get my stuff and um i could even video what i bought to eat that week you know kind of like my my stuff i'm gonna start dieting with um and i have an app that I, at the beginning she said she followed the app you know wrote down you know put in everything she ate and i know that's a good thing because when you don't do that you tend to eat more and when you put it down, you're actually seeing everything you eat. So, um, but she's like, uh, Christy said she doesn't like doing that either. But when she started, she did it. And then eventually as she learned the diet, she didn't really write down because you start knowing, well, for dinner, I'm going to eat the same thing. I, you know, you'll have like so many different ideas for dinner that you normally eat. So you can follow it easier. Because I think you, I, I knew how to do the macros. I had learned that at one time. Now I forgot. I need to learn that again. But anybody wanting to do that, um, the travel box started. Uh, the first person is Sylvia Jackson. She is going to be the first person. And let me see who I picked. I put everybody on a spreadsheet. He is going to mail it next week. Uh, let's see. And I actually have more stuff to put in it. I did work on that. Let's see. And the second person is. Let me see which one is. Uh, Casey K, do you still want to um, participate? I'm asking people before I just say, just to make sure it's been a long time and I needed to ask her. Uh, yes. Okay. So the first person is going to be Sylvia and Sylvia will have Ka uh, Cassie's address and um, everything uh, to mail it to her when she finishes. And then I'll let Cassie know who to mail it to after that. So uh, for anybody that's new, let me tell you about the travel box. Dad, where's the travel box? Uh, we we, we're, we've we we been starting this for like three months, and it's my fault. I kept just putting it aside. But, I, I, you know, I, I'm really not sure how many people are going to get to do it, you know, because first of all, it's, it's just products I put in a box. Yeah, that's it. 
the Calvin Klein products I put in a box and I'm just going to mail it to the first person. I got to find the little book you had bought for it. And it has just a bunch of products in it, samples, some are full size, small products. And uh, what you do, uh, you can take three to five, I think is what we decided on, up to five products out, but you have to replace it with a product. You have to, um, like if you take out a mascara, this mascara, I'm not sure how much it's valued at, but it's easy to find out. You have to put something valued around that amount back in the box. If you take something like this unseen sunscreen from Supergoop, it's just a, a small sample. You put a small sample in the in the group in the box. Um, this is just a random. Well, it's the Juno and Company uh, makeup sponge. You take this. Um, I'm not sure how, how much one of these costs. I think I bought these so many for so much, but I will try to put all the prices on the sheet off. I have a list of all the products. And when you take a product, you just put your name on the side of it and then add the products you put in the box at the bottom of the, the paper. And that's how we're going to keep care of it. Um, and it's just stuff like this is a, uh, uh, try it's like a travel size they call it a must-have makeup set it's got the better than sex eyeliner and mascara and well this has a this has a value uh, on it I actually got this for free I think on Alta but it does have a value so we'll put a value to this and you just replace it with something you have um, easy as and then Sylvia is gonna get it if you have stuff you that can fit in the box you want to add, it has to be a new product that hasn't been tested or swatched or anything. Um, you can add it if it can fit. Um, and after you take your products out, and we'll have a little a look, I have a little book you can write uh, on. I'm gonna put something like, "Hi, this is Kendi from Louisiana." You know. Um, and just put a little note. We have a, that little book to see where it goes and, you know, which places it's traveled to. I guess we could put our name, city, and state. That won't hurt anything if, if y'all think that's okay. That way we can tell, you know, where it traveled. So uh, if you're interested, everybody's welcome. It, it'll it cost you your the shipping. Shipping. 10 to 15, I, I don't know. I'll tell y'all how much it costs to ship the way he's going to ship it, but you're not required to ship it any kind of way, the cheapest way possible. So if you have access to a way you know how to ship that's cheap, that's good. You can do it that way and share if you know some, some cheaper way to, to ship. So that's, that's what that is. Hey, the bad guy. Hey, Lauren. You're welcome, Heather. Uh, I don't have everybody numbered yet. I just put a few people down, but uh, I can show y'all. I can show y'all the list next time. I'll have it finished. My email is Jane eighteen at gmail.com. And if, if you don't understand what I'm saying, it's 
it's under in the description area. Yes. Thank you, Rhonda. Yes. So, is there anything else? Yeah, Ipsy's going to have their add-ons uh, probably tomorrow or Tuesday. And Ipsy's add-ons are kind of $12 or, what, $5, I think they are? $3? Or did they go up to 5 I'm not sure. I usually pick a few out and that's kind of the only reason I'm still going to get the Ipsy just to make a video on it. It's pretty pathetic. Pretty pathetic. Uh, yes. And don't forget guys, if you're new to my channel, we have a giveaway every month. All you need to do is go below and click on that link and it'll tell you the rules on how to play. And basically Oh, and I'm, I'm going to say this right now. We're getting ready to play the number game. You have to be set to public. Um, you have to be set to public. And I hope everybody knows what I'm saying. If you're, if you're not sure if you're set to public, you can ask somebody in the chat to check your channel. Your, your channel, even if you don't have a channel, you have like a channel. And they can check to see if your subscriptions are public. That's the only way I can check to make sure you subscribe to my channel. And to do these little fun games, that's the only way to really check. Unless I, I do it through a service or whatever. But I want to keep doing it like this. So, um, but anyways, if you want to get on the monthly giveaway, you need to hurry and go and uh you got to watch the video. If we have any video clues, sometimes I'll say put your favorite colored heart emoji at the end of your comment. Your comment is your entry. And then at the end of the month, uh, this weekend, I will. Today's Friday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take. Uh, I'll go. Quentin goes from video to video and he uses a random, a random comment picker and he'll pick one of the comments. and. He writes that name on a piece of paper and we put them all in a box from each video and we pull, we're going to pull two names for the um, regular giveaway. Let's see. And somebody can possibly win. Where are those coins? The, um, either the Alyssa Edwards, the, the, um, Man, I'm blank tonight. What's wrong with me? Either the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, eyeshadow palette. One person will win this, and one person will win the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Contour Highlight um, palette. It, it can do all kinds of things. And if you are Patreon or the people who donated tonight will be considered January. So uh, all the people that are listed at the end of my giveaway, if you did donate and your name is not listed there, you need to tell me because what I do, I take all my Patreons and all the Super Chat and all the PayPal people and I put them in a box and two people will win there. One person will win the Huda Beauty Desert dusk eyeshadow palette and one will win the bh cosmetic zodiac palette so that is how you do that but tonight we're going to play the number game and how you play the number game i will give you a range of numbers for example uh 400 to 500 uh, I'm going to pick one, a number between 400 and 500. This is an example. And each person, when I say go, you don't go until I say go. When I say go, you put your number. And um, when it's, you know, we'll give you a few seconds. When it's, everybody has their number, then we'll see who is closest but not going over. So if the number was 450 and somebody picked 
451 and the that went over it'd be the other closest number if somebody picked 446 that person would actually win so that's how you play that it's just easy you pick a number in the range um now you have to be set to public and have to be subscribed to my channel and I really appreciate it. I don't go check if you subscribe to my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, if you are on those things, if you're not, don't worry about it. I really, I'm mainly on YouTube and Instagram the most. So we're going to play two games, two rounds tonight. And the first round will be uh, another, this is a different one. One person will win the Zodiac uh, BH Cosmetics palette, and one will win. Um, this is uh, Nectar. It's uh, by Floor and B. It's the Nectar of the C Rejuvenating Vitamin C Serum. It's a vitamin C serum, and vitamin C. Let's see what this is supposed to. It, and this is uh, cruelty free. No toxins, and it's a 1% to clarity. That's something with the vitamin C. It brightens, it tightens, and it rejuvenates all skin types. Let's see what color model it's in. I need to do a video on the skincare I have been using. This is what it looks like. I've been using the Good Molecules brand from Beautylish. They have been kind enough to send me samples of it and I have since replenished the, the items they have sent me. And it's the it's a price point of like the ordinary, but it works better. And I really love it. Love it. It does so well on my skin. I use two serums, three serums. I just bought the one for the eye. And um, they sent me a moisturizer. I haven't tried that yet. And um, their oils. They have some. I have two different oils. I use either. This is the pure cold, uh, cold pressed rose hip seed oil. And I have a different one. I use that at night. But they're wonderful. Really good. And the, this is probably like under ten dollars i mean it's very good prices but uh i'm gonna do a whole video on that that way you can see how i put them on and um how it looks on my skin without makeup on but yeah i have very very dry skin uh 53 year old skin um and it's sensitive I have, I have red, a lot of redness on my skin. I think I had rosacea, but I don't know really. I think I just have a lot of redness. My mother had redness because I don't get any acne type things. It's just really red. So, but yeah, I want to do that. Now, the second prize, I get so off topic, huh? Is this Betty Boot palette. Let me see what it looks like. I like the purple in it. This was in an Ipsy box. I can't open it. Do I have it backwards? My box opener is going to. Oh, I got it. Now I dropped the plastic. Where? I got it. It's right by me. It looks like this. I think the purple's pretty in it, the two purples. I just have so many eyeshadows. I'll get it in a second. And the, the lipstick is actually, I purchased this from Ipsy, and it's one of those um, ColourPop Villains lipstick, tube lipstick, and this is 
one of their Lux lipsticks, and it's called Dr. Facilier. Facilier, and it's a cream lipstick. And it's a pretty red color. And it's called Dr. Facilier. I had like three or four of them. This is one of the prettier colors that I had. This is it. Real pretty. I almost kept this one. That's my color I usually go to. Burgundies, reds. And really my eyeshadow is not the right color for my lipstick, but I didn't care. Said, well... So, does anybody need checking of their channels? Are everybody's good? Let's see. I'm back. Please pray for me. My son still has colic, and I feel like I'm losing it from no sleep. I don't know what to do. He's three months old. Did you go to your doctor? I know we used to give uh, our children cola. Uh, what was it, Gordon? Colace or what? colic. Oh, God. It, it was like for gas mostly. I don't know if they really had colic. Um, but I think you need to bring him to the doctor first. Did she? Let's see if she brought him. Lauren, um, I would call the doctor and just ask him. He can give you some uh, some drops to give him to soothe his stomach. You might have to change his milk if it doesn't. I don't know if you're breastfeeding. If you're breastfeeding, if you are breastfeeding, you may have to watch what you're eating. If, if you're not eating something that might be... Uh, Messing with his stomach. Yeah, it was like a, I, I can't remember. It was like a little dropper, and we give them a few drops of that, and it would soothe their stomach. Now, it ain't easy. I can tell you that much. Uh, we used to walk Austin. Austin, um, he was the one that had it, I think, and. Austin could be held all night and rocked or my husband would walk him and walk him and walk him. Um, it just gets hard. Um, if you have like a, a baby crib, you can put it next to your bed and that way you can try to get some rest while you're, you know, that way you don't have to go very far to bring him back and forth. And I, I don't want to tell anybody how to do their kids because things can happen. But when I was breastfeeding, it was just so easy to let them sleep in my arms in the bed. I would never have rolled on my child. Now, some people might be afraid of that. If you think you would do that, definitely don't let them sleep in your bed. And it's not a good thing to do. But I did it with both my children. Um, it was just so easy when you're breastfeeding just to. <laughs> fall asleep right there uh and of course then it's hard to get them out your bed but i dealt with it they stayed with me for a long time though um lavender baths or even some uh soothing uh, essential oils in a diffuser or something to relax them. Uh, chamomile bath, that, that's good too. But there has to be something they can help you with. Something. Steph, I, I would be the same way if I had five. Mylocon drops. Exactly. That's it. Mylocon drops. When Maddie was born, how old was Austin? Seven. 
My I, my husband slept in the other room. <laughs> I slept in the middle. Maddie was on this side and Austin was on this side. I couldn't kick Austin out because I, I felt bad. Then finally Austin moved to his bed. <laughs> and then Maddie um, stayed till she was she was about five or six, maybe seven. I'm not even sure. But then she wanted to move out. She moved in our little toddler bed. Um, but it's hard. But I remember those nights saying, oh, my God. Yeah, try everything. Look, Casey says, go in the bathroom, turn on the shower and uh, the steam. That might help him. Uh, I've seen people get put them in the car, ride around the block. The motion soothes their stomach. But watch if you're really tired, you can't go driving around. You know, it's hard. <laughs> she said, here's her fourth, and she's never had a baby like this. So lost, and he only wants you, of course, 90% of the time. Did she say she is? Yeah. Well, I feel sorry for you, babe. I wish I lived near you. I would go and help you. I'd love to help you with that baby. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to recommend somebody, Steph. Uh, do you watch um, Emily Noel, 83? She has just had a baby. She has her extra channel where she talks about everything. She may have some great tips on new things you can do. I'm kind of old, old school. But uh, that's what we did. Walked them. <laughs> Walked them. But if you are breastfeeding, you might have to see if it's something you're eating that, that is messing up his little tummy. There's certain things. I know you know that. You have se several children. Thank you, Patricia. Patricia said, hit that like button. Okay, so everybody's good. We can play the game. Okay. So for the first giveaway is the, um, I lost my thing, is the BH Cosmetics palette and the, the vitamin C serum. So if the moderators in the chat would put the range of numbers, the range of numbers is going to be between 100 and 300. I thought Rhonda was a moderator. Let's see. Yeah, don't put your number yet, babe. Let's let everybody see the range. Don't put the number yet. I just remodded you, Rhonda. I don't know what happened. Oh, that's okay, Myra. No problem. Okay, I'm biting my lip. I'm going to mess up all my lips. Oh, I, I don't know what, what happened. Okay, so everybody ready? Okay, go.
Okay, everybody got their number? Micah, okay, Micah's the last number. Do we have anybody uh, lagging? Okay, Micah is the last one. Oh, no, Matrini. Okay, Matrini. Oh, okay, Matrini is the last one. I knew some people would be lagging behind. Okay, Rhonda said, okay, that's it. No more numbers. And our number is, I can't show this. It's so small. My son did the number for me. It's 268. All of mine. 268, if y'all can read this. Let's see, 268. Oh, I showed the next number. I was smart. I'll pick another one. Okay, 268. Paula Miner is the winner. She had it right on the dot. Paula, make sure you email me with your address. Oh, do we check her? Did Austin check to make sure? I think Paula has won before, yeah. huh? She's good? Yeah. Okay. All right, Paula. I think Paula's won before. All right, you pick a new number? Okay, let me pick a new number. <laughs> okay, same range. Yeah. Okay. Okay, don't start until I say go, but it's going to be the same range between 100 and 300. Okay, everybody ready? Okay, go. Okay, we got all the numbers. Hi, Peach, Georgia, and Grace Vila, and Rose Henderson. Thank you for coming by, and Ruby. Yes, Mara, that's fine. That can count. Ruby's number is too high. Ruby, you got to pick between one and 300. You can re pick. Uh, are you on live chat, Aria? You might be set on top chat. She said, that's what she's saying. I've, I've waited, but yeah. on. Do you see her number, Aria? Let's see. Aria, you, you might need to switch to live chat. Aria Jade, 143. Yeah. If you're on your phone, there's a little by the, the left side of the X. Just press that and change it to live chat. Okay, good. Okay, so that's it. No more numbers. And the number is 162. I think the closest was Sylvia Jackson. I think so. Can you con confirm? Is Sylvia Jackson the closest without going over? She has 159. 
Do we have something for Sylvia right now? Yeah, Jackson. Oh. I don't know. I, I I'm not sure. If, if I do, it'll be in the box. No, we do, Quentin, with the traveling box. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the traveling box. I'll make, I'll make sure it's usually yeah. It. Congratulations, Sylvia. All right, so let me the, the number is. Let me show it again. One sixty-two. <laughs> It's kind of messy. I'm sorry. 162. Who's closer? Laura's got gotcha your life. 159 was uh, the winner. Yeah. Congratulations. Hey, Emmy. Yes. Wow. Did y'all see they had another case of that coronavirus? That's pretty scary, but it's not really that many cases. I don't know, you know. Um, there's only like six or seven total cases. But it's sad if you want to visit China, you probably can't travel to China. No, they shut all everything down. Oh, that's all horrible. Places. That's one place I'd love to go is China. Not now. Uh, no, I guess not. Nobody's flying out of China right now. I did get my second Allure box, guys, and. People were right. The second one was not as good as the first. I think that box in December may have been so super good because it was Christmas time. But I liked it okay. It's a cheapy box, but it's better than the Ipsy Glam Bag. The flu kills a lot of people every year. Yep. Here in my area, a bunch of school districts have been shut down because of the flu. Wow. You canceled? Hmm, I don't know if I would have canceled. <laughs> <laughs> you see that, but they, they have one cruise. Uh, I forgot where it was at. I think it was in somewhere around China. They have to quarantine the whole ship. Oh, in China, 90,000 total have died. Wow. That's a lot of people. That's scary. That's scary. Sylvia canceled her allure. Oh, I bet I'm going to be charged for allure too, huh? Oh, sure. <laughs> they have shut down. Some here in Bama. Wow. Scent bird. I was supposed to cancel mine. I need to cancel mine. Sylvia, did they give you your credit for um, the other box, the other scent box, Lux SB? Becca just started Scentbird. They told me they were giving it to you that day. I knew someone. Sylvia. They never, I think it was $30. That they were supposed to give you a $30 credit. They had charged you by accident. That's great, and I'm ready to go. Candy is Lux SB, but um, 
I want to join it too, but Sylvia had an issue with them. Wow, the China death rose to 258,000 today. 258? Well, somebody said it was 90,000. Oh, okay, I don't know. Today, the, the, the count is well, 9,000. Not deaths. Oh, hey, Linda. Thanks for uh, coming in. Hope we see you next time, love. There was 9,000. You know, case oh, I'm. It's not you, Sylvia. I can't remember. Somebody emailed me. I'm gonna have to look on my emails. I'm not sure who it was. They subscribed to Lux SB, and the first month they got all their free stuff. You know, it was all good. And then the second month, they overcharged her, and she tried to get in touch with them. She emailed them. Never didn't reply. Then she tried calling, couldn't get a reply. So she sent me an email. So I immediately emailed the PR people. Hey, look, I'm promoting this box. I thought you had good PR uh, customer service. And she immediately got on it and emailed me back, said it was straight. They were, they were giving her her refund. But I need to find out who that was and make sure everything is good. Candy, I'll let you know for sure uh, because I want to join it too because the bottles are bigger than Scentbirds the same way. Their customer service, is, you can't find nobody to talk to. It's uh, uh, I've been with Scentbird about a year. Then they even asked me to do PR. They sent me some scents, and it was like a one-time thing, but you, you can't talk to anybody. I tried reaching out to them a few times, and I don't even know if I get anything. They, I don't know, <laughs> but hi, Aaron. Hey, Linda. So Linda's at work on Friday night. Oh, we usually have these on Sunday. I just wanted to get it in before the end of the month. Um, I didn't want to wait till Sunday. So I don't I don't think I'll have one Sunday. I think I'm going to wait and do it during the week. Well, this is the weekly one. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I might have one during the week. Aaron works a lot. Okay. I know. I hope work goes well tonight. You too, Linda. Have a good night tonight. Lux XB, SB, Luxury Scent Box is the other one. They have a much better deal uh, with Luxury Scent Box. You get... Um, you have two plans. You can do the $10 plan. The $10 plan gets so much off, huh, Quentin? Um, you can't get the, the discount on the $18 plan. I think it's $5 off your first box. But then on your second box, you can change to the $18 plan. It's $18, and you get a free, for $3 extra, you get one of those free cases. 
each month. Well, this is the scent one, the scent bird one. This is this is luxury scent box, and it's uh it's a bigger, a little bit bigger amount. I forgot the ounces exactly compared to a uh, scent bird. Maybe like a half ounce. Watch. Uh, they want to charge you nine dollars for these on Scent Bird, I think. Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. That's crazy. You get the same thing on Luxury SB for three dollars. I couldn't believe that was that cheap. And this is the difference. On the right is Scent Bird. Well, yeah, I, I, you can't really tell, but uh, you see it's shorter. There is less in this bottle. I might be able to tell you how much less. I can't. I think it does have it somewhere, though. So. Hadn't you found it on here, Quentin? Yeah. It's a lot of half an ounce. I got a new scent in from Scentbird. I can't see the ounces on it. It's too small. Oh. Linda, thank you so much, sweetheart. A big shout out to Linda. Thank you so much, sweetie. Let's see if this is my new one. Uh, yeah, and then they sent me this, and I don't think I ordered it. It's called, I can't even say it, though. It's A-R-Q-U. Is that a U? I S H Anima Anima and it's okay. I don't know. It's kind of a weird smell. This might be one. Too. I have these things all over the place. This is Rag and Bone Manoy M O N O I Manoy. This one smells good. I love all of Rag and Bone scents, especially Cypress. I had one the other day I really liked. It, they only come once a month, but it seems like I have so many. <laughs> now, uh, Becca, I think uh, Luxury Scent Box doesn't have an affiliate thing right now, but she said they're going to start one. If you would want to get that when I get when I become one, I can let you know about it. Uh, anyways, I don't know how it's going to work. I, I've always been an affiliate to Scentbird, but to tell you I've ever gotten a dime from it. That's why I wanted to ask them at one point, but I couldn't get in touch with anybody. So not too good customer service. No, the Huda Beauty Sisters perfume. I've never smelled that. Yes, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Oh, I'm. I, she got Sylvia said she got Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca. And it smells great. I might have to try that one. Thank you so much, the bad guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that.
let me make sure nobody sent anything to my other thing and I didn't thank them. I think I have it set up correctly, but I don't see anything. Oh, what did I do? Good night, Rita. Thank you for coming. I appreciate that, sweetie. Oh. Lauren, if you uh, do the travel box, put it in the travel box. <laughs> I could do that. I have some that I don't care for also. I thought about um, um, gifting them. If I, I'm not going to use it, you know. Um, somebody, What you don't like, somebody may enjoy. So I always offer it to my daughter, and if she, she doesn't take it, Aaron, I think Scentbird does have some other products you can purchase on there. Uh, yes, I think you can get other products instead, instead of the perfume. Yeah, Lauren, uh, I don't, I don't see a problem with that being something you swap out in the scent bar, in the travel box. Uh, if you don't mind, could you email me with uh, your address to kendyjane18 at gmail.com and I will uh, add you to the list. And um, when it's your turn, you can just swap it up. Oh, Sylvia, thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Thank y'all so much for helping me by supporting my channel. Um, it makes it that much easier to do everything and uh, do all the postage. And I appreciate that so much. At gmail.com, Lauren. KendyJane18 at gmail.com. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. Yes, it's Kendy Jane at G. Let me put it in here. Let's see. That's it right there.
yeah, Madison has a new job. She um, she was working at the yogurt shop. I actually thought she was just, I thought she was going to stop for a uh, marching season because it was so much her work and going to school and trying to catch up because they missed so much school with the marching thing. And she's got really hard classes, but she was still working, but she got a new job at the, in the hospital. Uh, she's going to be a transcriptionist, uh, like walk around and write things down. The doctor says, um, help patients. And today was her first day with training. So it'll help her when, when she goes to medical school, you know, to get some experience with working in a hospital, she had to do another TB test and take the flu shot. And they always check her uh, immunization records. She has to be up to date on all that for school. Anyways, how do people not give their children immunization shots? I mean, she, when she started college, she could not go unless she had her up-to-date shots. And, um, I mean, they, they're serious about that. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know how people get around it. Yeah. Well. Homeschool. Yeah, you can homeschool for so long. You are so welcome, Jamie, anytime. In Maryland, you have to have them. I know, Lauren, I don't know. And you know how dangerous that is with all the people coming in with different diseases. And if you're not immunizing your children. I, I would have been devastated if my children would have gotten polio or some awful disease that just happens to be back because of people coming in and people not being protected. All these diseases are popping up again, like smallpox and yeah. Mary V says she works in the medical field, and I'm sure anybody that works in the medical field have to have their shots. In Kentucky, Maryland. I, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy when you see people not getting these shots. Uh and I, I asked my doctor about the autism thing, several doctors, and they don't believe there's a correlation with it. So I don't know. I don't know, you know, who's right or who's wrong. My daughter... OS Lauren, she stole my channel to do toy tutorials and video game uploads. Oh, I bet she's cute. Patricia. I know I didn't like, I was the worst thing bringing your children in to get their shots. Oh, and I, I didn't lie to mine. I remember Maddie went one time, poor baby. She was all happy, you know, and a kid in the back started crying. And that was it. When she heard that kid crying, she said, what's wrong with him? <laughs> and I told her, I said, well, he probably had to get his shots. Mama, I don't have to get a shot. I mean, she was so upset, poor baby. I hated doing it also. But you have to it, when you get, when your baby's born, you have to take them to do that PKU, I think it's called with their little heel. Oh, that was horrible. 
I hated that also. I think I made my mom come with me when my kids were born. Or probably Quentin if he didn't have to go back to work. But I think my mom brought me. You came? Okay. Yeah. Same. Yeah. So when you hear, uh, like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kat Von D not immunizing her children, her child. She's really being selfish because you have to be, what she's going to do if her child wants to go to college. I mean, maybe in California you can get away with that, but most other states you can't. Does anybody live in California? Oh, Tracy, he's so tough. Oh, I see. Thanks. I will chat after Kendi. I go into ADD overload. Jamie was born in California. Cassie buying their way into college. That didn't work out so well for what's her name? The, the actress. <laughs> no. Yeah, if you have a special problem, some type of autoimmune disease, they must have to do something special or I don't know how they could even take the shots. <clears throat> I don't understand the no shot thing either. I, I don't either. I'm for it. It's like talking politics or religion. Exactly. They say the government's putting uh, some kind of stuff in us and this and that. That's crazy. You know how many people would have to be in on that? And, you know, I don't think that that's going on. I mean, the biggest discovery there was was penicillin back in the day. You know how many people died in wars because they had no antibiotics? And if, you know, if it's a life or death situation, I don't think people would feel that way, but I got the bad flu one time in the years preceding that I took the flu shot, but it, it hurts so much. And they tell you that you can't get the flu from the flu shot. And so many people say you can, and just the, uh, it's not a live virus, but just the other day, Maddie took her flu shot and she felt like she had something like she, she felt under the weather. I don't know. It can make you feel like that. Unless you had it in your system when you took the shot. Right. I know. Could you imagine your kids getting measles or something like that? Gosh. Hey, Donna. Yeah. 
if I had the money, but she must have not had much faith in her child because you know she had money. Why did she have to? She was she was changing grades and scores on tests, I think, for her daughter. That's what really did it. Because she had the money to get her in the schools. It just didn't make sense, though. Micah, I, I agree. You get something because my daughter just last week felt like she had something. Didn't last long, but. Wow. She took her measles shot at 37. Now, um, I didn't have to take the. Uh, What's the one that leaves the scar? No, I think it's smallpox, huh? Polio, oh, po polio you drink, huh? No, I didn't drink, huh? No, it's smallpox. It's smallpox? Yes. Yeah. Now, you see, that's all eradicated. My age didn't take that, but I know I had cousins older than me that had that mark, that scar from taking that. Now, what if that comes back? You know, how many people are going to have to die? And it's from people just not getting immunized. Becca said she's gotten the flu after the shot. I, I think Maddie told me they have to change the vaccine each year to a different type or something. Huh? Yeah, but you can get a different type of flu. There's more than one kind. Yeah. I have seen where they have a new, uh, you know, they had, uh, what is it, thermo flu that you would take, like, you take if it was the first few days of oh, the they flu. Got, yeah, they, got they got a new one out, yeah, I've seen really, on really, TV. Really, really but you have to take it in those first early yeah, days, days, yeah. Frick, no, I didn't get the mystery box. I know uh, Candy got it. I don't think she's here anymore. Uh, Becca got one, I'm sure. And Lauren, I think, got one. How many are doing the travel box? There's over 20, over 20 people. And I don't know how many more emails I got tonight. Yeah, Becca, I think my mom had the scar too. Booster shot, okay, in Canada. So Donna, y'all y'all still take that? We don't take that one anymore. It's that round one, and it's got, like, little ridges in it. I know. And Kat Von D, she was really vocal about it.
Aaron's got the scar. Um, so Aaron, you're feeling fine. So she took the flu shot two weeks ago and on Wednesday she was screened for the flu and she was positive. So they gave her the flu script. It was only one pill. Oh, they got some good stuff on there. Sylvia has the scar. I used to think when I'd see my people with the scar, I used to think when I was a child that it was cool, you know. Like, I didn't want to take the shot, but I wanted to have it like all my cousins, <laughs> my older cousins. And I don't have a tattoo or anything. I don't have any tattoos. <laughs> I don't know why I like that. You would think I'd like tattoos. Yeah, Jamie, you're on the list, love. And that's true. Uh, Paula is, she's in the medical in the, uh, industry. There's several different kinds of flu. So possibly she took the flu shot for one type of flu. And then when she tested positive, she had another strand of the flu. My V button seems to be, to me, malfunctioning. I don't know what that means. Kat Von D sold her company? No, I did not hear that. Oh. <laughs> what you doing, Lauren? You're trying to get him to stop crying and feel better, huh? She said I'd laugh so hard if I'd see her right now. I've, I had a bad flare up last week with my arthritis. I don't know what causes it. You know, a lot of people say the weather. If it would be the weather, you could actually predict when you were feeling bad. And I can't predict when I'm going to really feel bad. Sometimes in the summer, I, I feel really bad when it's hot. Good night, the bad guy. Thank you so much for the donation and thanks for coming by. I appreciate you so much. Jamie's whole back is tatted up. I would think tattoos are probably expensive, especially if you go to someone that's fairly good at it. You know, Kat Von D, her leave, selling her company is just not going to be the same. I mean, if Jeffrey Star sold his company, it's really not going to be that person in there at all. 
anymore. Not that she did a lot, you know, maybe she wasn't involved in picking the colors and the form, you know, do, but she, how are you going to have a company Kat Von D and not have Kat Von D in it? It's just to me, not going to be the same. Hmm. CVD Beauty now. Huh. I know. Jeffree Star works so hard. He's always on Instagram, always promoting his business, you know, ev all, you know, every day. But of course, he has a beautiful house and a beautiful background and Somebody does his makeup and hair, so he's ready to talk. And if he doesn't feel like putting on makeup, it's okay. You know, he's a man, so. Mm. Oh, that's sad, Jamie. Yes, I love Jeffree Star, too. Why did they split up, y'all think? Why did him and Nate split up? Was it like a mutual thing, you think? Or is it not really? Are they just taking some time apart? What do y'all think about that? Oh. Do you think Nate left him or do you think they're just taking some time apart because Jeffrey was, was so happy, but Jeffrey's always said he was straight. I know it just seems so odd and I know Nathan's family lives in their house in Michigan. So, and Nathan didn't work. I guess he worked for Jeffrey. What is he going to do now? It, it's just, I know it almost seems like they're just taking a break because Nathan just was burnt out with the whole being in front of the camera and um, down because the dogs had died. They moved. They, they had just bought that house. Just so odd. Jeffrey didn't seem sad at all. Not like, you know, 
a five year break, you know, they they were together so long. I think it's just uh you go do you, I'll do me, and we'll see what happens, type thing. Maybe men are just different from women. You know, <laughs> it was, seemed like such an easy little break up there. What does Nathan do for a living? What was he doing before he met Jeffrey? Does he have like a career in something? Just a lot of chatting, Clarissa. We done took our immunization shots. <laughs> Now we we on Kat Von D. Now we on Jeffrey Star. I know I was sick when his dog passed away. Both of I was so sad for him. I know that awesome car Nate ha Nate has, and uh, yes, Nate's grandfather had passed away. He worked at a pet shop. Paula thinks there's more to the story. I, I, you know, I keep waiting for something to come out. But maybe it's just a time apart. It's just. Nate has a lot to lose, but do they have like a in California? They never got married. Do they have like common law wife? I know if you're with a, a man and woman live together as husband and wife for a certain number of years, it's like they're married. And is, is Nate entitled to some type of settlement because he did work for Jeffrey? Um, yeah. Does he get all the gifts? The cars, the jewelry, the clothes. He had so all his clothes. He sold all his clothes, Nate. Maybe that's why he was selling his clothes. But Jeffrey can't kick him out of the house. He said he was decluttering, but now I think he was because he knew what was coming in the near future. Yeah. Yeah, they had just bought the house. Nate got rid of his clothes before they bought the house. They had all, and then they went to Tahiti in December for for uh, Jeffrey's birthday. It's like they were still together. I don't know. Uh, I think uh, in certain states, there's different laws, but I think they have something like a common law wife. And it's just like you are married and they treat anything like if you were there taking care of the kids like a wife, he was bringing in the money. But half of everything is legal, legally yours if you were to split. Because you're just like a wife, but I think it differs by state also. So, hmm. yeah, it could be a publicity stunt. They have, you know, things like that do happen on YouTube. I know. Did y'all see that darn Tahiti little hut they were staying in? That is 
my dream trip. I would like a week there, a good book to read. And I stay in that little darn hut on the water the whole time. <laughs> I think that would be so much fun. But we're not in love with each other. They're more like best friends than in love. I think if Jeffrey's saying that, it almost sounds like he's just not in love with him the way he should be. He's looking. He's looking for that true love. You know, a lot of times when, a, you know, any couples together and this sort of thing happens and there's somebody in the picture. There's somebody, you know, that made him feel like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that gave him butterflies <laughs> other than Nate. So, the dogs, AK, uh, what's the tea? Great conversation tonight, but I have to go. Night, Jamie. I mean, Janie. Good night, Janie. Have a good night and a good weekend. Oh, Lord, Jeffrey and Shane. What about Rylan? I don't know. I think uh, I think Rylan and Shane are getting ready to have their ceremony, their wedding ceremony. And, you know, I did find it odd every time, like, the, the four were together, Shane and Rylan and Jeffrey and Nate, like, filming. And Shane would bring up, well, we're getting married. How about y'all? They never were like, yeah, we're going to, you know, we're going to do it. It's like. That just didn't happen with them. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Tracy thinks that's the reason they broke up the shame. Hmm. It's kind of odd that all of a sudden when Shane's real heavily in the picture, Nate and Jeffrey grew apart. I don't see Shane and Rylan, but what about the camera guy? What's his name again? Is he gay? The little redheaded guy? Jeffrey and the guy with the blue hair. Who is that? Andrew. Is Andrew gay? I don't know. I thought he was straight too at one point, but he, he, he acts awfully. I don't know how you act gay, but he wears the lipstick and plays around and, um, Me too. <laughs> I needed this too, just to talk and talk about gossip on the YouTube. His makeup artist is Lipstick Nick. But I think he has like red hair, huh? He's a man too. 
That was Ninja and Andrew, the cameraman. That He's not gay. Okay. Very flamboyant. I do agree. Lipstick Nick is a girl. Why are they call her Nick? Lipstick Nick. I thought she was a um originally a male, you know. Nikki tutorials. You know, my husband said that long time ago. Um when I showed him Nikki tutorials years ago. A few years ago. He thought he said that's not a man. I said, no, that's a lady. She's just tall. And the, when we found out, he said, I told you so. I told you she was a man. I thought Lipstick Nick was a man. <laughs> you know, Jeffrey treats his assistant very well also. Uh, when they were showing her area in the house, she had oodles of cute clothes. Said, oh, he's paying her well. Nikki, okay. She does great makeup. <laughs> Becca's husband said the same thing about um, Nikki tutorials, Quentin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Lauren's laying in the bathtub, chatting on on uh. I wish I'd have done the same thing. Just went <laughs> play in the tub with some bath bombs. Mitchell have a thing going on. Oh, maybe so. Mitchell was on the vacation when they went to um, Tahiti. I think he was. I think he was. Yep. I don't know Cardi B's uh, makeup artist. Does anybody know? Lauren, that's how it is sometimes. You got to go hot in the bathroom. Um, I think uh, tonight <clears throat> I, on Instagram, did, is Cardi B tonight in Miami having a concert? I think Joe Morton might be at her concert. He was walking by the stadium, and I, his accent so heavy sometimes. I think he did say, we're going to see Cardi B. Yep. But I feel sorry for Nate in a way. I don't think Jeffrey would do him wrong, though. Jeffrey's too old to do, you know. But if I was Nate... I would get what, what I had coming to me, you know. I mean, his family lives in the Michigan house. Jeffrey should just give him that house. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure he was at a, he said Cardi B concert and it was right by the stadium he was walking. Okay. <laughs> That's where he's at. Oh, I know. Breakups are hard. Me and my husband, um, we've been together 30 years married, but we dated 20 years before that. It almost seems like I'm not old enough to have dated him that long, but um, we did split for in 2014 for like a year. Oh, it was hard. But I'm glad that's over. Cardi B sent you a care pack when you were in the hospital, Lauren? Good night, Tracy. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Have a good weekend. She is so pretty, Cardi B. She must be a very kind person. As uh, that other uh, YouTuber is also, um, what is her name? She did a palette for Anastasia Beverly Hills. What, um, I, I have the palette. I'd have to go get it. But I think she sends people a lot of things also. Oh, I'm on top chat. I'm missing half of the chat. I was wondering. I don't see just Gus on here. Um, wait, let me check. Let's see. I knew, uh, once a channel, um, she sent a, this girl who had a channel, her husband was, um, in the military and she sent her a camera. I guess the girl asked her for it. I don't know how she knew she needed a camera, but she sent her a camera. This girl I'm thinking of, let's see. Uh, here it is. Carly, uh, Carly Bible. Carly Bible. That's the little girl I'm thinking of. It's Carly Bible. I have no idea what Cardi B sings. I'm going to have to check her out. I know who she is, but I can't. I, uh, I might know her music after I hear some of her songs. Yes. 
Well, ladies, we are having pancakes for supper <laughs> for dinner tonight. So oh, I'm geez. starting to get hungry. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for chatting and coming here. I really had a good night chatting with you ladies. We're going to have to. Uh, Sylvia had waffles. Yummy. Some of her songs are very explicit. Okay. You know, I don't mind a little bit of that, but it makes it so hard when you have a young daughter and they admire these singers and, you know, I mean, even I love Rihanna. I love her music, even in her sometimes, but there's, it's not bad enough where a child couldn't listen, but um, it makes it hard for children really to watch. Thank you, Becca. I will, Becca. Bye, Patricia. I mean, now I don't worry about it too much. My children are older and you know, once you're 18, you, you can listen to what you want to listen to, I feel like. But um, when you have a, a, a six or seven or eight, Maddie would learn the lyrics like this to a song. It's kind of, you know, what do you do? It makes it hard. Congratulations, Paula and Sylvia. How she treated the makeup artist. Oh, okay, Alexis. I'm going to have to see, uh, get the tea on her and her makeup artist. Oh, poor Lauren. She says, I'm starting to feel human again. Thank you, Clarissa, GT. I, I hope I'm not a night owl tonight. I have been the last few nights. Good night, everybody. I hope the baby lets you sleep tonight, Lauren. Okay. Are you on Instagram, Lauren? A lot of the ladies here are on Instagram. Um, but I need to, uh, all of us who chat a lot, I need to get everybody on the Discord because it's just like a little chatting area. And when somebody chats something, uh, you get notified. So um, we need to get that going. And like when some somebody is going live on their channel, you can post it on there. That way when Becca goes live or Rhonda goes live, we can see it on there. All right, Casey, I sure will, my love. My 30s, Lauren, were my best years. I loved it in my 30s, um, my 40s. I still love life in my 50s. I can't believe I'm 53. I don't feel it, you know. I just, I think about it and I think, God, do I have 20 years left to live? And I just don't feel like I'm that old, but 
We'll see. <laughs> Can't worry about all that. All right. Good night, everybody. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Let's see. Oh, I'm not even on my screen, Dad. You turned it off. Yeah.